Hello students, in this video we'll prove that any rearrangement of an absolutely convergent series is convergent to the original ser series limit. So let's suppose that the series n goes from 1 to infinity of a n is absolutely convergent We know that if you're absolutely convergent, then you're automatically convergent. So it's also convergent to a limit. Let's call that limit L. Okay. A rearrangement given a one-to-one -one function f, which maps n into n, we say that. A sequence Bn is a rearrangement of An if B of this one-to-one -one function Fn is equal to An. Okay? In other words, I just permute the natural numbers in a different order, and I want to ask if that permuted series still converges. Okay? So let's prove this. Then uh, so if an is absolutely convergent, then any then the bn is, is convergent. Then the sum n goes from 1 to infinity of bn is equal to L. So it converges to the same limit as the ans do. Okay? So how does the proof go? So there's two phases of the proof. So here's the proof. Let epsilon be greater than 0. And pick n in n. Such that, such that what? Such that Sn, which is going to be, um, Sn is just going to be the sum, j goes from 1 to n of the a, j. Okay? Sn, the partial sums of the a series, Sn minus the limit L is less than epsilon over 2. I can make sure that happens at the end of the series because it's convergent to L, so I can go deep enough in the series. This is true if n is bigger than or equal to this number n. That's using the fact that it's convergent to L. I'm going to use the absolute convergence now, so I can pick m in n such that, such that what? Such that the sum, j going from, let's say going from little m plus 1 up to infinity, up to infinity of uh, aj, absolute value is less than epsilon over 2. If m is bigger than or equal to this number m capital. Okay? And that just tells me that the series is absolutely convergent. So the tail has to go to 0. So the tail of the absolutely convergent series goes to 0. So if I sum from any number past, um, past this number m to infinity, I can be made less than epsilon over 2. Okay, great. So that's the absolute convergence. I've used the absolute convergence over here. And so now what I want to do is the following. So now I want to make sure that the rearranged term, so let's consider uh, let's let Tn, Tm be B1 plus B2 plus Bm. And since there's a relationship between the Fs and the Bs, I want to go deep enough in the series so that I get close enough to the tail, essentially. So what I'm going to do is the following. I'm going to choose, I'm going to let um, so let's let n tilde, n tilde be the maximum of these numbers n and m. So I want both of these conditions, that will ensure that both these conditions over here, these conditions will both be satisfied if I choose this for my common value n tilde over here. And then I'm going to let m tilde be the maximum of this permutation function of the values f1 f2, all the way up to fn tilde, fn tilde, okay? So what does this m tilde assure? So now, I know if I go this deep in the series, the difference if m is bigger than or equal to this m tilde, then what can we say about the, um, then the t m minus s m What's going to happen over here? Well, 
I know that for these for these values of m, I've achieved what? I've achieved I've already got past this number, this number, this number, this number. So all of the m past these values, the t m in my series, all the way up to the b1, b2, b3, have already canceled out with every single one of the s n. So these the remainder terms over here. So in other words, once m is past this threshold m tilde, the b1, b2, b3, da 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 b m will have achieved every single value of the a sequence over here. So this will be contained. These terms are contained. in what? Terms in this uh, collection are contained in the sum n plus 1 to infinity of these a n a, let's say a n, like that over there. So it's contained in those terms over there, okay? So that's where these terms over here are a subset of those terms, basically. All right, so now let's estimate. So now I want to estimate tn min tm minus l. So how can I estimate tm minus l? For m bigger than or equal to m capital, let's look at tm minus l. Well, I'm going to input into this thing over here, tm minus sn plus sn minus l. Now I know that sn minus l, and then break this up into two terms over here, T m minus s n plus s n minus l by the triangle of equality. Now s n minus l is contained in this tail over here, right? That's just the tail of the limit. So that these terms over here are less than epsilon over two by the tail condition, and then these terms over here. I'm sorry. So these are, so s n minus l can be made less than epsilon over two by this condition over here. I apologize. This condition right over there. Great. And then what about this condition over here? Well, these terms over here are contained in absolute value. So these terms are no more than no more than the sum j goes from m plus 1, j goes from m plus 1 to infinity. Uh, m tilde, rather. That's an m tilde. I need to be bigger than m tilde. m tilde to infinity of a j. And those are less than epsilon over 2 as well. So that's less than epsilon over 2 plus epsilon over 2. So this is epsilon. So we've just shown that the rearranged series converges to the same limit as the original absolute convergence series. Thank you very much.